ewe Joshua usiogope. Stanza ya tatu inasema mkono wa kuume, mkono wa kushoto. Uendako Joshua usiogope. Praise the Lord. Amen. Then chorus inasema uwe shujaa, uwe hodari, ewe Joshua usiogope. Deuteronomy 31 verse 1 to 8 Kisha Musa akaenda akasema maneno haya kwa Waisraeli wote Sasa 
Nina miaka 120. Nami siwezi tena kuwaongoza. Bwana ameniambia hutavuka Yordan. Na Mungu wenu yeye mwenyewe atavuka mbele yenu. Ataangamiza mataifa haya mbele yenu nanyi mtamiliki nchi yao. Pia Yoshua atavuka mbele yenu kama Bwana alivyosema. Naye Bwana atawafanyia watu hao kile alichowafanyia Sihoni na Ogu. Wafalme kwa wamoja ambao aliwaangamiza pamoja na nchi yao. Bwana atawakabidhi kwenu ninyi lazima watendee yale yote niliyoamuru. Haya text yenyewe ya thimu. Iweni imara moyo wa ushujaa siogope wala msifadhaike kwa sababu yao kwa kuwa Bwana Mungu wenu anakwenda pamoja nanyi na kamwe hatawaacha wala hatawatupa ninyi verse 7 kisha Musa akamwita Yoshua na akamwambia mbele ya Israeli wote uwe imara na moyo wa ushujaa kwa kuwa ni lazima uende na watu hawa katika nchi ile Bwana aliyowapia baba zao kuwapa nawe ni lazima uwagawie kama urithi wao verse 8 Bwana mwenyewe atakutangulia naye atakuwa pamoja nawe kamwe hatakuacha wala hatakutupa usiogope wala usifadhaike Mungu abariki andiko amen
jina la Yesu Kristo. Yehova mtumishi wako amesimama kwa haya madhabahu. Baba nataka kunena pamoja nasi na mkabizi mikononi mwako Jehova. Naomba katika jina la Yesu kamsaidie. Bwana utende ishara katika kanisa hili. Tuone Bwana wa nyonge wakinuliwa, wale wazaifu Bwana wakinuliwa, wagonjwa Jehova wakipona. Nataka kukatanga nguvu za giza. Pepa maana za kufunga anga hii. Nataka kukanyaga na kuikamata. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Bwana na majeshi wachilie nguvu zako. Ili mtumishi wako anaponena pamoja nasi. Bwana na tukaweze kubarikiwa. Asante Bwana maana umetenda. Katika jina la Yesu nimeomba. Amen. Amen. Jinsi ambavyo mmejua kitabu hiki kinaandikwa na mtu anaitwa Musa. Yeye ndio mwandishi wa vitabu vingine vitano katika Biblia. Vitabu hivi vikiwa ni Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Leviticus and Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy ambayo ni mambo ya Walawi, mambo chumbukungu la Torati, ndicho kitabu cha mwisho kufunga mambo ya Musa. Na Musa anapofunga ujumbe huo anajaribu kufunga ujumbe ambao alikuwa ameuanzisha katika vile vitabu vya kwanza. Kitabu hicho kimepewa jina Deuteronomy ambalo limetokana na jina la Kiyahudi. <coughs> Deuteronomy, yani huweki wae mwisho. Badala pa wae mwisho kwa Kiyahudi ni ai, Deuteronomy. Sio mai maana yake agizo la pili the second command second command walikuwa commanded watoke Egypt wakiwa na Musa wanakuja wanakaa 40 years around the shores at the coast of Jordan east side of Jordan wanakaa pale miaka wakijaribu ku strategize jinsi watakavyoingia sababu mwanzo Mungu alikuwa amewafikisha some part of Jordan ambayo iko part of Canaan wamemiliki lakini wakati huu Biblia hii imeandikwa ama kitabu hiki kimeandikwa Waisraeli hawajavuka just before wavuke ni sababu tunasikia kwamba Musa alikuwa amejaribu kuwaleta makabila mbili na nusu ya Israeli wakawa wameteka nyara the eastern side of Jordan wakiwa pale wanangojea ili waingia unajua vizuri ya kwamba Israel ilikuwa divided into two the northern kingdom the southern kingdom southern ni hila makabila mawili ambayo yaliwekwa na Musa pale kabla hawajavuka kabila lake Rubeni kabila lake mtu ambaye anaitwa Gad na nusu la kabila la Manasi hao ndio makabila yanabaki kule kusini wa Israeli hilo nilo taifa linaloitwa Juda baadaye kuna makabila kumi ambayo sasa Joshua anaambiwa you will now invade because remember when Moses was in the leadership alijaribu kutuma watu kutoka kila kabila la Israeli the sons of Jacob waende wapeleleze muende muangalie hao watu ni watu tutawatoboa ama ni watu wataturamba na watumalize Biblia inasema wakaenda Watu wale kila kabila walipoenda kule bilina sema walitoka kule na habari mbaya ya kushusha moyo. Wanamwambia Musa Musa mahali ulitutuma Horolio kama alikuwa Kihebrew because the believing walikuwa wa Hebrew kulinze. Wako si Horolio amana. Horolio enyara. Ni kubaya. Bilina sema wakati walikuja kwa Musa walimshusha moyo Ninashukuru bwana kwa sababu hata watu wakijaribu kushusha moyo na kuharibu kazi. Kuna mmoja wa wawili wanasimama. Na Mungu atumie wengi, anatumia wachache ambao wako tayari kuifanya kazi. Sema amen. Ana usiogope kwa yule anayekushusha moyo. Watu 
atakuja wakuute mguu waseme kazi hapa ifanyiki mama mama uendi mahali haujui kisungu wewe hauna sura hauna kisomo wewe nitakosa mama hayo yote lakini nashukuru niko na Yesu ukiwa na roho shika ushujaa kwa sababu Mungu yuko na wewe amen Wana Yesu asifiwe. Wana meijia kwamba atakubariki. Wana meijia kwamba atakuinua. Wana meijia kwamba atakutumia kama chombo. Mie jani yako chipe mwe wa ushuja.
Ujua ya mambo ya kwambia ni ukweli. Uliita mtu wa Mungu anaitwa Esther. Mama, wacha kujidharau. Mama, wacha watu wakiongea kitu kidogo na sema ni sababu yenu. Mimi nimekata hata uongee. Inajua hii ni hicho. Tu nisengenge. Inajua hii ni hicho. Wacha watu wa kuongea. Yeah. 
Unaanga hata nyumbani hata baba kama alikuwa anasema huyu mtoto hata kula chakula hapo. Unafurahi ana mfurahi na mtu mkele. Hata kama maana baba atakuja pata kipeana anajua tu niko na ushujaa wa kiroho. Mimi ndio mwanaume. Mimi ndio mwanamke. Na ushujaa wa kiroho Mungu amenipa kwa nyumba hii ni tafaulu kwa jina la Yesu. Mtoto atakufa na njaa kwa sababu kuna mama. Na mama atakana awe shujaa. Amen. Yesu akasema, "Sina mambo mengi. Mimi nataka tu nikwambie kitu kimoja, Bwana wangu." Kaora kanye nyeke, pana kaora. Muone kana ndio mkati. Ndio iko watu hapa wako na kasumba tatu. Na hapo waambia kuweni na moyo wa ushujaa na ujasiri. Kaora, ura manyaka unajua. Walisema tuwe na moyo wa ushujaa. Na wewe ndio unasema mwanaume hapa, hata si tuko na moyo wa ushujaa. Uka, uka. Mpango ba unaambia mume wako nguba. Hata kutandiki. Yes. Kwa maroma, 
You have been appointed and approved by God. Mongo, ame kuteua, name kudipitisha. Kwa hiyo kazi unayofanya. Kwa hiyo ni wewe, jipe moyo. Mishuja. Yoshua was appointed. Jeremiah was appointed. Na kitu ya jabu. Sija hii kuona, mtu alie kuwa kwenye nga kasema, yesu ni naposa. Talk of Esther, talk of Jeremiah, talk of Isaiah, talk of Moses, talk of Joshua. All of them were saying, hey, you know, no, no, no. I see what was the point. Mm-hmm. Jeremiah and Ambio, I Jeremiah was chapter 1, verse 5 down. Jacoba, I have appointed you to go and preach to Israel. Even though they are stiff naked people, people who may not want to listen to me, but I've given you power and authority so that all the old past that are in Israel, it is you who has the power because I've appointed you, Jeremiah, and I've approved you, Jeremiah. When you get there, destroy all the altars of the devil in Israel so that you can plant the altars of God. We are approved to destroy the altars of the devil. Yes. Hata kwa jamii ambayo umeolewa nadi mama kuna misingi ambayo labda imejengwa. Ni wewe tu Bwana ame approve kuingia kwa hiyo jamii. Amen. Ngoa na ubomoa. Amen. Jina la Yesu. Amen. Jeni yako ni tangoa. Nitamo. Jeni mama anapoenda kula na ngoa na kubomoa, anagundua kumbe Mungu alikuwa anataka kunitumia. Watu wote waliojinyenyekesha mbele za Bwana wakaenda kwa nguvu za roho wa Bwana mwisho wao kulikuwa ni baraka Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe Esther anapopata ile ushujaa na ujasiri wa kujua kwamba I'm the appointed queen in this kingdom of Asuerus anamwambia nataka wewe mfalme na huyu Haman na watu wote katika kingdom yako leo wanakula kwa <laughs> Nani 
You know, we have power in the law. Mm -hmm. And we have power to command the law. Mm -hmm. We don't have to command the council and the MCA. Mm -hmm. We don't have to command the MP. But mm -hmm. we have power to command the law. The law. Mm -hmm. And the Lord will do what he wants. Amen. I saw this when I was still in school. We can show my Bible school. Mm -hmm. <coughs> what about 1996? Mm -hmm. If I had a
when God has appointed you and approved you, you always walk in his presence. And whatever he has decreed, he will come to confirm it at one time in Jesus' name. Amen. Ana confirm. Kama ndio kuwa pamoja na Musa nitakuwa pamoja na Musa alikwambia, "Jipe moyo wa ushujaa na ujasiri." Praise God. Amen. Ukitaka kujua ninakwambia mambo ya ukweli. Hebu consult mama hapo kwa hii Biblia. The only judge and the only prophet in Israel is called Deborah. Deborah. Ukiuliza professor Ansiah, atakwambia mambo ya Deborah as the only woman judge female judge in the Bible. Wakati wa Israeli kuja kuwa that was the generation of judges. Wanaume wakakuja wakijaribu kupigana na mfalme Sisera, hawakutokoa Sisera. Israel wanaume wakakuja wanne. Four judges wanakuja, wanajaribu kupanga mikakati waende vita wanashindwa. Wanajaribu kupanga mikakati waende vita wanashindwa. Kukapatikana mwanamke mmoja anaitwa Deborah, mwanamke shujaa. Akamwambia Balaki, Balaki, wewe ndio kiongozi eh? Ngoza hawa watu waende vita na mimi niko na wewe. Ninajua wewe utakuwa unapigana lakini mimi nitakuwa naingoa tu mikono kwa maombi. Na ninajua mfalme Sisera atashindwa. When you read the book of uh, Judges chapter 4. Judges chapter 4 verse 8 and verse 14. Tutasoma hii alafu tumalize. Verse 8 and verse 14. Judges Deborah, judges ni waamuzi. Nakumbusha hapa mbele nikwambie hivi, waamuzi. Deborah anasimama anamwambia yule ambaye anaenda vitani, simama, enda. Alafu ajabu, Bibi inasema baada ya alienda kwa akakwambia hapana, wewe uende na sisi kupiga. Utangulie mbele. Deborah akasema niko na ushujaa wa kiroho, lakini najua Israeli nasema wanaume ndio wanatangulia. So kile mtafanya, wacha mimi nikuwe tu nyuma yenu kwa maovu mimi nitakuwa na wapapa mkienda ushujaa wangu wa kiroho utawasaidia mshindi kwa hiyo eteni lakini tuko pamoja nani kwa ushujaa wa kiroho kuna mambo mengine uwezi fanya kwa sababu maybe you are limited as a woman but in prayer you are you can make it in Jesus name in prayer you can move mountains hata bilivyo shinda watu wa kijiji chenu uliolewa ndani utaweza kwa ujasiri wa kiroho jipe ujasiri na moyo wa ushujaa utashinda can you read chapter 4 verse 8 and verse 14 usizi neno mimi tu neno la Mungu linasema neno la Mungu linasema baraka akamwambia kama utakwenda pamoja nami ndipo nitakwenda mm. bali kama uendi pamoja nami mimi siendi mm. 14 yes 14 ninasema Deborah akamwambia Barak haya inuka maana siku hii ndio siku ambayo Bwana amemtia Sisera katika mkono wako amen je Bwana hakuto hakutoka atangulie mbele yako basi baraka akashuka katika mlima wa Tabori na watu elfu kumi wakamfuata bwana bariki andike amen debora akamwambia toka na ninakwambia kwa ushujaa wa kiroho na maombi na ulimwengu wa kiroho nimeona si sera mfano ameshindwa na waisraeli barak ena upiga kazi yetu wa mama ni kusukuma kanisa la Mungu na maombi. Hadi watu wamepungukiwa na maombi, wa mama wasimame kwa maombi. Ndio hiyo pungukiwa na maombi, wa mama wanasimamisha kwa maombi. Kuwa na moyo wa ushujaa. Hana toroka tu ovyo ovyo. Hata mzee akikuletea kinyangalika kingine akijui kijui hata kuoga. Hapana tishika ukitoroka. Kimuntu tu kinakuja pale kimenyoa hivi vitu yote kinanyoa hivi vitu vyote alafu kinapita mbele na mzee hata kinakuja mbele kwa mimi bwana eh selekti alafu sasa msangu wange sasa hapana lini kibeba mzigo ana ana moyo wa ushujaa this is your home get your yako that is your home you know i'm talking to somebody here kuwa na moyo wa ushujaa that is your home Mungu yule aliyekutoa mbali kwa kaka kwa hii ndoa miaka 20 yungali yuko na wewe. Kipe moyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Yeye ndio watu wengine wamebanga mizigo hata kabla hawajafukuzwa. Amen. Babu mzee tu. Sabu ya nani? Sabu ya nani? Sabu ya nani? 
kokoni ni alikoo na huyo mtu akikohoa ni atai unakimbia unaenda wapi huwa na mwao shujaa labda nataka kuona tu kama unatishika na kwa kae wewe wa robo hiki Mafisa dawa wa robo hizi sasa sema mimi nilikuwa mpia hii maneno itakuwa naniambia my darling what is the problem Mjeo mzana hapo anza kusikia tu dale ina shuti. Utafanya hayo ukiwa na moyo wa ushujaa. Bila moyo wa ushujaa, unaanga na nomo ni dhisi na madali. Ziza hai, ziza yengo. Na kumbe yengo huko ni ndangu hii. Karanja na hivyo henzi mtaka. Kwa sababu imboka. Kuwa na moyo Mama wa Kibera iweni na moyo wa ushujaa. Mama wa Kibera tuweni na moyo wa ushujaa. Wiki hii ya kushika ushujaa wa kiroho. Mambo yetu iliyopotea tunayirudisha kwa jina la Yesu. Asha yetu iliyopotea tunayirudisha kwa jina la Yesu. Maisha yetu iliyozoteka tunaisimamisha tena kwa jina la Yesu. Iweni na moyo wa ushujaa na mtapata kushinda. Usimame kwa jina la Yesu.